Hello, and welcome to Tip of the Week by CAD Tech Seminars. You can find us on the web at thebimguys.com. We do training, support, and project assist. We had a call about uh, moving a project from a building to another, or actually taking the building and moving it from this file to another file. Um, normally, that you know you don't want to do that because there's so much information in it, but it's an early on project and they need to move it from one project to another. So here's the way, or at least one way to go about moving a project from one or a building from one project file to another. Now, um, if I look at it in 3D here and I do a crossing, I will grab all of this building, right? The problem is when I copy this into my new project, the association of all the levels is going to go bananas and it's probably just going to fail, especially if you have stairs because stairs like to go from level to level. And if those levels aren't there, Revit throws a fit. So to copy a project from one, excuse me, copy a building from one project file to another project file, what we're going to do is first go maybe to the, an elevation. So if I go to south elevation here, you see I can see the complete building and also I see the levels. That's a key part because you want to bring the levels with it. That way when it comes in, all the associations remain. Even if you don't have stairs, this window is, is associated with level three this roof is associated with the roof level. If you don't bring the levels in, everything goes awry. So what I'm going to do is in my south elevation, I'm going to do a big crossing over everything. Now I want to make sure that my depth of the elevation goes to the building um, beforehand. Now I know the depth that this actually does, so I'll grab all that. Now I also want the grids. You'll notice that the grids aren't showing here. And even if they were, they won't be, won't be showing in the in both directions. So I've highlighted that, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the control tab key, and I'm going to tab back to my plan view, and I'll continue to tab through. Now I'm in my plan view, and you notice I can see the grids. So holding the control key down, I'm going to do another pass over it again. Okay? So now what I've done, I've picked up the levels and the grids, and from what I can tell, all of my 3D objects. So again, this is a bit dangerous. I wouldn't do it late in the project. You want to do it early on? Well, you can give it a shot. Sometimes you got to do things that you don't normally want to do with Revit, and this is one of them. So I've highlighted the model. Now we're going to go up top, and under the, on the Modify tab, you'll see there's the clipboard uh, panel, and we're going to click on Copy to Clipboard. Now, once we've done that, Revit is taking that information and moving it to the clipboard. I'll now start a new project. Drop the R down, New, Project. Go out and pick a template of your choice. To keep it simple, I'm just going to use the commercial template, and I hit Open. Now I could have used one here, but that's set up for another project. I just want to start with something straightforward. Now here we are. At this point in the new model, I'm going to go to level one, and I'm going to go up top, and I'm going to drop down the modify tab again. And I'm going to drop this down, and say paste, align to selected view, our current view. Now we hit this, and it starts pasting the model. If I wouldn't have brought the levels in, it would bomb out. Now you are going to have some some changes here. If some of the materials are a little different, it's going to be the one we're pasting into it's going to use. So you may see some material changes or a few minor things that happen bringing it into your other project. Now it may take a moment to do this. So we're going to pause and I'll come back in about 30 seconds. Okay, so we're back. Now we are getting some, L, uh, some, some warnings here. It could be from the original model, could be from something else. So I may hit show and it'll try to come up and tell me what's going on. Uh, we can also hit to the next one and the next one. Looks like I've got some walls on top of each other. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with this model. I didn't build it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK on that. And uh, now the model's brought in. So I'm going to click off of it and let's see what actually happens. Let's go, go to my south elevation. And you'll notice there's the model. Now in my original model, I had basement, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, and I also had my, in this model, you see the blue ones, the roof, level 1, level 2. So I've got these levels, right, and they may or may not all line up the way I want, because I always have a level 1, so it, it renamed it to level 4, and that's fine. But you can see how I have the, these things set up. Now, if I want to create these other levels, I'll bring them into the views over here, I could do that. But before I do that, I want to talk about if things don't show up. That was another question that we had. Now, when I hit the floor plan level one, you're like, dude, that's awesome. It came in, even brought tags. That's sweet. All right, good stuff. 
Now, let's take a look at the roof plan. So I go to roof plan, and that actually has it in there. I was hoping that it, it didn't, but I've started with a new model. Now, sometimes what will happen is, like in this one, if you don't see the model, don't panic. First of all, that roof level is cutting at the wrong place, so it's not going to look right. Secondly, you may have had, uh, let's say, a crop region turned on. Now I'm going to click on this. Click on this. Now the light bulb shows at this where that's where the the view re, uh, excuse me, viewport or crop region is. But what if it was over here? You notice how I can't see it. What if you don't even see that one? You're like, oh man, I can't see anything. You come in, you see one elevation tag. You're thinking, okay, something's squirrely. I don't know what's happening. Again, don't panic. Go right here first and click on do not crop the view. So what it does, it shows everything pretty much forever. I'm going to type ZA for zoom all. And what Revit's going to do is zoom all the stuff in that view. All right. Now, if I go here and I turn on the crop region, if I zoom out a bit, you'll see there's the crop region. So sometimes the crop region, maybe if you bring it to another project, the building's outside that crop region. Again, don't panic. So that's how we can get it back. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and pull this on over. And we can move it where we need it to be. All right, so the last thing is uh, setting all the views up. If I go back to my level uh, one, and that looks okay, but what about level two, three, and all that other stuff that came from the other project? What we can do is go up top to the View tab, and on the View tab, we can use the tool called Plan Views. At this point, I hit Floor Plans. Revy comes in and says, "Hey, I got all these plans that are here, but I don't have a, uh, I don't have a plan for it yet." I grab all of those, I hit OK, and they get created. And let's say level two, there it is. Level three, level four. And now level four happens to be level one and level five. And so you can just kind of see how, what's going on here. Now the reason you're seeing stuff underneath is the underlays are turned on. So if you turn off the underlays, you won't see that information underneath. So uh, go back to the previous view, which was our south elevation. Uh, and here it is. So now it's a matter of us manipulating these views that are correct. And just like before, in our other project, if I was to take this level and I was to move it, you'll notice how the roof is now actually and everything's associated with it. So you still have that uh, associativity, which is nice. If you don't bring the levels in, it goes to hell in a handbasket. So uh, that's the trick to transfer projects to projects. And if you can't see the objects, how to alleviate that problem. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, check us out on the web at thebimguys.com.